All right, so now we're going to be going into themes, which is an exciting part because right now this website doesn't look too good. Uh, and it's very easy to make this website look better, and we do that through themes. I'm also probably going to cover widgets a little bit in this video because widgets kind of go with the theme where you can kind of customize what's in your sidebar and all that type of stuff. So in order to show you this correctly, what I want to go back and do, remember I have no post. I recommend you guys use you know all pages for most of the sites you do. I want to get a few posts going so I can show you some different things that happen with themes. Okay, so let me go to post and I'm just going to add a few posts here. So let's go ahead and add new. And this will all start really coming together in this video and you'll start getting an idea of uh, you know what things are going to look like. So this is post one. So let's go ahead and publish. And let's go, oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's go back to post. And let's add new. I'm just gonna create three, okay, so we don't spend too much time here. But I wanna have some posts here so I can just show you some differences with themes and all that. Oops, I meant to do post two. But post three first is fine, or first is fine. And then we'll go do post two. Add new. And post two. All right, and publish. So now three posts and four pages. Remember, we have currently have a page set as the home page. Um, what I'm going to do is just change that back to your latest post because that's the default setting. So let's go ahead and save that. And you'll notice that when we reload this, now our three posts will show up as the home page, not our um, our home page page because we, we reset it to show the post. All right. So we have post one, post three, and post two. I did them out of order by accident, whatever. Uh, so let's start making this site look better. So let's go over here. Let's go to appearance. And let's go to themes. And there's tons of different themes that you can choose from. So let's go to add new. And all of the ones in here are free themes, okay? So all of these are different themes that you can use to make your website look better. And some of these themes, you know, take some, you know, a little bit of work kind of learning how to customize them. Some of them are a little easier. There's also themes outside of this that are paid that you can do even more functionality with, okay? I'm just gonna choose one of these. Let's go do like, um, I don't know. Let's go to popular ones. These are like the most pop, some of the most popular WordPress themes. Uh, let's see. I don't know. And you just pick one that you kind of like the look of and you know what's going to kind of fit your site. So let's see here. So here's one right here. That's, you know, I kind of like, this is like more like a blog type site right here it looks like. So let's install that. So this would be a site that maybe you're doing a whole bunch of blog posts on for whatever reason. Or it's more you're doing like, you know, not really pages, but more like a blog. Let's go ahead and activate that. And you'll see when we reload our site, it's gonna to look totally different now. It's that easy. And there you go right there. Okay, look how different it looks, okay? It actually kind of looks somewhat like uh, like this one right here, right? It's not all done up like that, but the layout. We got our pages up here now. You know, we got our homepage content here. It's actually his post, uh, but it, it looks kind of like the same layout. Then we have our sidebar over here. So I actually like this theme. It's actually pretty nice. You, know, you probably, there's probably an option you can like customize it. You can probably put like an icon, an icon up here or like a branding logo, whatever you want to do. And remember what we could do is delete these two posts and make this one post the homepage. So we could just do that. And let's see what happens now with this theme when we actually set one of the home pages as the as the page. It should just it should just look the same with that home page as that as the page. I'm sorry, with that page as the home page. So let's go to home page and save. So actually, I like this theme. I'm going to save this one. I like the way that looks. Do that save. There we go. So let's reload it now. And bam, now we have that page showing as the home page. 
All right, so you can do either one, but this looks a lot better than our previous theme, right? Like it's, you know, we've got our pages up here, you know, all of our different pages, got our homepage, eHarmony page, okay, Cupid, and plenty of fish. Uh, we have pages listed over here as well. Uh, that our home page is right here or if you want more of a blog setting with some posts involved too we could just go back and change it to your latest post and save changes okay and that will put our latest blog post up here when we reload it all right so there's our blog post and again remember i was saying in the last video you can change how many it shows at once so we currently have three it will show up to ten if i want to show just one blog post Guess what? It's going to show my most recent blog post only, which is actually post two because I did them out of order. So now when I reload this, only post two will show because that's my latest blog post. Okay, then to get the post three, you go over here, and then post two will be over here. I wish I did them in order so you could follow easier, but uh, you get the point. Okay, so that's how it appears if you change that setting. So let's go back and change that to ten, and when we do that. All of them will show up again because we have less than 10 blog posts. Whoops, we don't want page two. We want the home page. All right, and we're back to here. Okay, so now I want to go over the widgets. Okay, and that's what shows kind of in your sidebar. Now, with this particular theme, remember with the last theme, our pages weren't showing like these are here. I wouldn't want my pages showing twice like this, so I can take my pages out of my sidebar. So to get there, I would go to appearance and widgets. Now just take my pages and drag it out of my sidebar, okay? And now when I reload, this is going to disappear because I just took it out of my sidebar. And bam, it's gone, okay? Now again, I already have my post here so I can take out my recent post too. So you know, I can take out my recent post. You know, all this stuff down here kind of looks bad. The meta, the, you know, we don't have categories we're really using. Archives, I can take all this out, really. So I'll take out my comments, take out my archives take out my categories, Oops. take out my meta, and now what's going to show is just the search bar because that's all we have left over there. All right, so now what I can do over here is add different stuff. You know, I can add um, an RSS feed. Don't worry about that. I can add a video, okay, so you put the video you were on there. I can add an image, okay, so you put an image over there. You can add a calendar. Let's go ahead and add a calendar because that's kind of ruddy save it and let's see what that looks like I see now I have a calendar here you know it shows it's you know the calendar of the month of July and you know, today is for me is the 5th of July 2019 so it just shows the calendar for you uh, you know so there's all different things that you can drag over there you can have like a gal you can have audio stuff um, I don't use a ton of this you can have just regular text so you can kind of do your own thing so I could drag over this text right and I would say, you know, maybe sometimes like I have like an FTC disclosure. And I'll say, I make commissions off any sales on this website. Now you can, you know, stuff like that. And I'm just kind of giving you guys an example. And then what will show up? FTD, FTC disclosure. I make commissions off any sales of this website, right? Now if I want an image. Now drag over the image, and I'll select an image from my, I'll just do media library. You can upload files from your computer. Let's see if I can find anything. And I guess there's nothing in the, in the library because it's a brand new site. Let's go to upload files. And I'll select a file from my computer. Let's go to documents. Do I have anything there? No. It's an old computer. So I don't even know what the heck's the one here. Let's go to my Amazon FBA picture. I don't even know what that is. I know it's a picture. All right, so just a picture of Amazon. I'll go to add to widget. And bam, now we have an image in there. Let's go ahead and save it. And when we reload, there's our image. Okay, so that's how you can kind of make your sidebar look better too. Obviously, you know, I just quickly did that. You can make it look a whole lot better and there's other features in there. You can add videos, you can add links, you can do all types of things over there, okay? So that's kind of how you control your sidebar. 
This up here, you usually control with the menu, okay? So if you come into widgets and you go to menus, different themes are different, so sometimes it's hard to figure out what goes there. Um, yeah, so I don't know where this menu is. Let's maybe go to customize. Yes, yeah, so I don't know how to change it. Well, here's menus here. You can probably create a new menu, um, and it'll and it'll mess with that. But again, those are like the little things you might have to play with. Um, yeah, those are the kind of things I'm not going to cover because it's different with with each theme. So there's no point in going in and figuring out how to change that menu with this theme because it'll be completely different for another theme. Okay, so don't worry about that a ton right now. Just do it however the theme comes. If you really need to change it, you can go and you can figure it out. Okay, but again, that this site looks a lot better now. Okay, now if I didn't like this theme, what can I do? I can go back here. I can go to themes. And I could go to add new. Oops, scroll down so I can see it. Add new. And then I'll go to uh, popular ones. And I don't know. Let's choose. I think this is a fancy one right here. This kind of looks like that C net one. Let's see what happens when we install this one. So this is one of the ones that probably has like a lot of functionality to it, or it'll probably take a little bit of time to learn how to deal with the theme. Let's go see what it looks like. So let's go activate it. And let's see what happens. Let's see what our website looks like now. All right, so there we go. So it actually, that's, that's pretty cool, all right? So the, the thing with this would be just figuring out how to kind of change all this stuff, you know, like what shows up here, what shows up here, you know, um, how to customize it all. And that's going to be different with each theme. Again, I'm not going to go in and figure it out, but again, if you really like the way this looks, guess what? You can go in and figure it out, and this is a good looking website. You know, if you get everything showing correctly and images in each of these spots, you know, an image here and featured image here and here, like it's really going to look good. You know, you got trending stories, editors picks, main stories. The thing with these themes is just each of them's different, so you just have to figure out a little bit on how to customize them, okay? And sometimes you can do that with this customize link up here. You just kind of go through the process of figuring that out. Um, but again, that's how you do themes and make your sites look a lot better. Usually, to be honest, I stay away from these types of themes because I don't feel like taking the time to learn how to how to customize them. I go with the more simpler options like the one we just did, you know? Uh, so I find simpler looking themes uh, or I just hire someone to do the theme part. But again, usually I'll do simple themes like this because they still look good and it doesn't take any time to figure them out. It, there's nothing to really figure out, okay? But again, let's go to add new theme. We'll go to popular ones. Let's just take another, let's take another look at some more here. Show you some different options. So here's another one, it's more like a blog type site where it's like featuring blogs here. Again, a lot of times I don't do those type of sites. Uh, let's see. Here's one that's very basic, you know, where, you know, it's just, if you want a very simple site, that's obviously a good one. Let's see what this one looks like. This is, this is different. Maybe if you're starting a music website, let's see what happens when we, when we install this one. Activate. I really like the first theme we had. I think it's very clean looking and it's very probably easy to use. What was the name of that theme? It's called A-L-L-I-U-N. So I like that one. I'm going to break that one down. All right, but let's go ahead and reload our site now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Huh, that's actually pretty cool. So if I had a music site, I would have my pages up here. Um, what would that go to, view more? You probably have to customize where this link would go. And then your post that you created just appear down here as snippets. So that's pretty cool. And then you probably, 
So what you would do is you would go down to, like if you want less post showing here or more post, you would probably go into settings and reading and just change that setting, I'm guess, I'm guessing. Eh. Let's just let's see what happens if we change that to one if it shows just one post. As you can see, I don't deal with these themes a ton, like because each one's different. So it's gonna be, you know, it's just gonna be figuring out which theme you like and how to kind of optimize it. But yeah, now just one shows, okay? So same thing. Now if I want all three to show again, I would change it to either three or ten, because I only have three. I'll change it to ten. And now when we reload this, all three will show because we set it to 10 to show. Up to 10 posts will show here. So it'll probably show, if we had 10 posts, or let's say we had nine, it would show one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It would show nine of them like that. All right, so those are kind of basic things you can kind of implement with these, with these themes, stuff like that, all right? So that's pretty cool. So that's a good looking site if you if you're, have a music site. So it's just, just an example of making your site look different. Let's go to another one. Let's go back to themes. And let's go to add new. Like these type of sites I don't usually do because there's so much going on uh, and it just, it takes a while to figure those themes out. But if you really like how this looks and that's the type of website you're trying to create, go in and figure it out. It might take an hour or two to figure out how to optimize that specific theme. But once you figure out, it'll be worth it because that's what you want your website to look like, okay? But a lot of times, again, I make my sites look pretty simple uh, and I choose the more simpler themes. Let's go to popular again. A lot of these, there's just too much going on for me. I really like that, and that's my favorite. And I'm probably going to reinstall that when we're done. So here's one for like designers here. Here's like a beauty type one. Let's see. It's more like a Shopify type store or a shopping store. So you can choose whatever you want for, you know, depending on what type of site you're doing. I find a lot of the type of sites I do, like affiliate sites or like client sites. Um, well, a lot of client sites are going to hire web designers for, but like a lot of affiliate sites, I use I just use those basic type themes. Uh, this will be the last one we do. Just want to find maybe one that's a little different. Let's see here. Here's a little different one, maybe like a business type site. Let's go ahead and install that. Probably a little bit of optimizing to learn there or customization to learn how to do, but I just want to see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and reload this. So there's probably a lot of customizing you gotta do with this. So this is one I would just skip, all right? But anyways, that's how you make your sites look better. Again, there's no point in me going into each theme and showing you how to optimize them or even trying to figure it out because number one, it's not something I'm good at. And number two, each theme's gonna be a little different for how you optimize it. And that's just something you're gonna have to figure out, all right? My recommendation, what I do is I stick to these types of themes, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and activate this again. I stick to the themes that are very basic and very easy to optimize. It's very simple, okay? The only thing I'd have to really figure out with this theme is how to change the menus if I want because, so is it activated? I think it is. Yeah, so the only thing I'd really have to do is figure out how to control this menu because I'm at, if I'm adding 100 pages, I don't want all 100 pages to show up here. It's gonna look really weird, right? So I would just control which which uh, pages actually show up here so there's not too many pages showing. And that's really the only change I would need to, to figure out with this theme. It would take me maybe 10 minutes, right? I might figure out how to put like a um, some type of icon here to make that look a little better, but that's about it. You know, I can make this look really good. The rest you make this look good by just dressing up your widget a little bit, you know, adding some pictures, some links, some videos, whatever you want to do. And then of course you make your content look better. And I'm going to show you how to make your content look better in the next video. We're going to start going into, you know, how to make things look better. Um, and, you know, just different features of uh, 
adding you know the content into your pages or posts whatever you're using how to make it look good okay so this is how you make your website look better you change your theme you pick whatever theme type of theme you want sometimes you're going to have to learn how to customize the theme to use different features of it and it's going to be different for each theme that's really the hardest part of wordpress uh and the the reason that that I stay with these simple themes is because I don't feel like figuring out uh, how to how to deal with the more complicated ones. Just you know, again, I like to keep things simple, and it works for me. I have websites that look like this that are very simple. Of course, the content looks better, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But they look this simple that have earned hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. Okay, so you don't need complicated to make a lot of money. You don't need it. If you want a more complicated looking website, feel free to go into those more complicated themes and learn them. Um, then there's also paid themes you can buy and dress those up, uh, which are just have different options. But I have tons of websites that are free, basic themes that make a lot of money and uh, do very well with conversion. All right, so that's how you make your website look better. Hope you're starting to get a little more excited. Next video, we're going to go into how to make your content look better and start kind of piecing it all together.